So, so we actually started with the uh, the hatchback and sedan version of okay. the, the Chevrolet Sonic last August. Oh, okay. And then we launched the Buick Verano in November. Okay, all right. So then, when the plant started with these two cars, do you know how many jobs it created since or has created since then? We have about a thousand folks that come here every day mm -hmm. that either work for GM or work for somebody else. That this is their place of employment. Okay. And so we've got a two-shift operation. So there's roughly 2,000 people that come here every day to earn that paycheck. Now, there's lots of other companies that are around the perimeter, you know, so at the, uh, the business park across the street, uh, 10 miles away in Pontiac, you know, other locations within Michigan, going back to the, the comment about where parts come from, uh, that provide product for Orion, and they're at work because we're back at work. Mm -hmm. So there's a multiplying factor there, um, and you, you could probably look up the statistic, but there's been a lot of studies done on what's the ratio for every one person working at a plant, how many people are probably supporting that one team member at the plant with all the suppliers, et cetera. How much of the car is assembled um, like in an automated fashion with say robots, or how much of it is assembled by hand? Probably the most automated part of our factory is what we call body shop, where we actually put the, the body together. So you're gonna see lots of robots back in the body shop. I think there's about 400 of them. Uh, but once you get into what we call general assembly, which is where we put the interior trim, um, wheels and tires, all, all of the, that is driven by people that are actually assembling the car.